Brooklyn seeing some of the heaviest flooding tonight. All right, roads turning into gushing rivers with drivers barely able to move around in some spots. Fox 5 Linda Schmidt joins us now live from Windsor Terrace. Linda, has it gotten any better? We can still see the water rushing behind you. <laughs> Yeah, hi there, Steve. Yeah, the water is definitely still rushing behind me. The good news, though, as you notice here, it finally stopped raining. So that is the silver lining here. But take a look right here behind me. This water has been gushing down this street inside Prospect Park here in Windsor Terrace since we got here this morning. Now, what ended up happening here is that inside the park, there is a lake. It's about 60 acres. But it rained so much, so fast, in a short amount of time that the lake is flooding. And that's what's happening. All all of this water continuing to gush down this street and then I want to take you on a little walk over here because what it's doing is it's flooding this whole area we are on the outskirts of a traffic circle here along Parkside Avenue and so this water is just rushing into this intersection here and it's creating basically Baron can we come over here just a little bit so that you can see some of the little waves in the water and it's a major traffic nightmare for people who are trying to get through this area. And then that water is also going down Parkside Avenue as well. It's not just here. Now, all in all, this is just a major inconvenience for folks here. No damage, but there has been major damage throughout the city and, of course, in many areas here in Brooklyn. Go ahead and take a look at this video here. This is from Park Slope, and you can see just car after car after car after car buried in the water, submerged halfway. That's a lot of major damage. That's what some of the folks in Park Slope are dealing with. And then go ahead and take a look at the uh, video in Bath Beach. Again, streets. Uh, sidewalks flooded, people trying to make their way, trudging across the street there through the water, just trying to get where they need to go. And then on Coney Island, they've got some major flooding as well. A lot of major damage. People going to be dealing with a lot of different insurance companies. It's a, a lot of headaches ahead for many, many people here in the city. We caught up with some of the folks who are driving in the area where we are now, and I was asking them, you know, what's it been like for you today driving around? Many driving for hours. Here's what they had to say. Really hard today. Really hard. I'm sorry. The, the light is getting. It, it was. It's a disaster. It's crazy. What did you run into? This. Ran into this puddle everywhere. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Water. Streets closed off? Yes, a lot. They need to do something about it. What's it like trying to drive around the city today? Oh, oh crazy, crazy. And it's flooded everywhere, like, you know, it's crazy just everything. Like, it's like a river. Everywhere you're going. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, my basement's flooded. Like, all my friends' basements are flooded as well. Just a lot of delays. Um, the water, as you can see right here, there's like a whole main break. I don't know what's going on. It's just really annoying. Yeah. Especially water everywhere. All right, we are back now live for you here just outside of Prospect Park and this water continuing to rush down this road. You know, when you look at it, you see the white caps on it. It kind of reminds me of whitewater rafting or like a mini Niagara Falls, so to speak, because this is not something that we see. But it might just be the new norm for us. Back inside to you. And normally you got to go four hours north to get an experience like that. Unreal. Uh, All right. Thanks, Linda.